welcome to another video of Mike's Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make a stone texture in Photoshop. And it's pretty easy to do. Um, it's going to take a little patience and some good pictures. Good pictures as in a good picture to put in the background so it looks like it stands out more in a stone texture. So what I'm going to do, and also view more of my other videos, my previous, previous videos, to learn how to get the... Um, styles and certain fonts to put into your um, images to make your images stand out more so what we're gonna do is start off with a new document file new and select whatever your width and height you want to want for your um, image these are my specs so I'm just gonna use that and press ok I'm gonna resize the screen for the video okay next we're gonna go to first off you're gonna make sure your foreground and background is gray and black um, it can be um any color you want but for me I'm just gonna have it black and um gray and by the way these sounds these sounds right now is coming from aim I'm gonna just turn down the volume anyway um go to clouds render clouds then you get this Next, you're gonna go to render noise, add noise, and then for the amount, just have three percent Gaussian blur selected and monochromatic selected, and then press OK. Um, next, we're gonna go to channels. If you can't find your channels, come over to window and then select channels. Okay, so next, we're gonna go to add new channel, and then we're gonna rename this to stone text then um we're gonna come over to filter render um then we're gonna put different clouds then we're gonna go to filter again add no noise and then keep the same settings we have from before press ok next we're gonna go to edit fade add noise and then for the opacity we're just gonna select put in 50% then press ok okay next you're gonna go to filter again then go to render and go to different clouds now you get this strange awkward looking pattern here you can keep that if you want or you can hold control F or command F on the Mac and press it like about two times and you get another set of looking pattern so you can keep pressing until you get something you're satisfied with but I'm gonna keep it like this next I'm gonna um let's see I'm going to um this is an advanced step you don't have to do it if you don't want but it kind of stands out more you can um type in something well, let's say I'm gonna put in um Mike's designs Okay, now once that's done, go to your move tool. And then you, you'll see that your your text is highlighted. Then after that, you're going to go to, uh, I believe it's, go back to your layers panel. Then double click to unlock the layer. And as you see, you're going to still see your, your layers selected. Then you go to render lighting effects and then I don't know if you can see this but in that little window you can see your, your letters that you've just put in it look like it's been engraved or something in it so anyway you're gonna have to want to use these settings um your spotlight on don't worry about stone map that's just um uh, I saved that as my texture that texture is actually this the um the stone so I don't have to redo this again but that'll be alpha one or stone whatever you can save it but anyway you're gonna want these settings um intensity 59 focus 69 wide gloss 100 percent glossy um material you're gonna have that about 47 exposure about six and ambience three now for your channel you're gonna come and select the stone text that we just made right and then 
have your height all the way up to mountainous and then select OK. Now what that does, it doesn't change the background but it changes your text. So after you press Ctrl D or Command D, you'll see it like your text had just been embedded into the clouds. So next what you're going to do is select uh, um, you're gonna have to start the whole process again. Go to render, then no, no, I'm sorry, I think it's channels. Let me make sure I'm right, I don't want to mess up. No, go back to layers, yeah. So, um, go back to your layers, and then we're gonna restart that whole process again. So render lighting effects and then keep those same settings press ok and then voila this is what you get you get a stone texture and everything but like I said I'm gonna press control alt z to go back and I'm gonna show you what I just did render lighting effects now this here this little arrow thing you can move that so to switch the lighting effect so it can shine anywhere you want on a on your picture so after you press ok now see the lighting is automatically switched so that can work in various ways for you now I already took a picture of Zapdos and I'm gonna press control C on it and then control V and then Zapdos is now in our pictures now to we're gonna um, convert Zapatos to a, a smart object. Reason why? Because we want its image to keep the same aspect ratio as we resize it. So when you're resizing it, hold shift and just drag them up. Okay, that looks good. Now press enter. Next, you're gonna wanna go to um, the blending options and then go to linear blur that kind of gives um Zapdos a, a little effect like he's in the rocks like somebody colored in him and colored Zapdos in the rocks and then that's basically how it's done now how I made this is a little different because this took a little more time into it I had to do a little more fading and stuff so that's more advanced stuff so if you're into fading and ancient looks of your pictures then I'll post a video just leave a comment let me know and I'll make a video on how to do that but this is just a basic way of how to make a stone texture in the background and embedding your name or anything inside that text I mean inside that texture and also adding another image so it looks like it makes it more stand out so if you like this please um leave a a comment or any um questions you need to ask me please let me know um please rate my video and subscribe because i will be making more videos on more cool um photoshop tutorials and thank you um also i'm trying to be a, a youtube partner I probably said this in a few of my other videos, so I'm just trying to get my videos out there so I can make more videos for y'all, and this is also encouraging me to make more because I like making videos that help other people out, so just let me know, and I'll be sure to make more videos for you, and to your liking. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.